welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. We're heading northwest, yes, to one of our favorite locations in the world. <laughs> We're heading up to the Yukon, McMillan River Adventures. Moose Mania, Moose baby. Moose Mania, baby, our favorite thing to do. Yes. Oh, I love it. This week's lucky logo, new archery products. Makers of Spitfires, Thunderheads, Kill Zones, Hellraisers, okay, you name I think it. Enough. Watch for the NAP rest, logo, and then at the end of the show, we'll tell you what to do with that. I mean, they do the this year, job every time. Please. This year, when we went up to the Yukon, the weather was not. It it, bleeped. it was, <laughs> it was horrible. hot. It was One just... of the other guides had called Don up and said that they actually saw an entire bachelor herd of bull moose on the top of the mountain and you we're running down the river and the lakes. I mean, it doesn't. And let's understand something. I mean, this this animal is is it's the it's one of the largest hoofed animals in the world. And when it gets warm, it doesn't. They move. can't move. They, they don't just move. can't move. They create too much body heat, so it makes it real tough. We usually are fortunate enough that we usually get a moose down within the first couple three days. You went This on time we went up. This time, I mean, it was day seven before we even saw a bull yeah, to go it after. Was, it was tough. So we was saw a bear. We Remember we see, saw yeah, a bear, a black bear. Yep. Didn't see any grizzly. No. But but I mean, what was really cool was you know you you, you when you're going there, the anticipation, huh? The yeah. excitement. Well, you're going to the ultimate, the wilderness, the it's most so beautiful up there. Place oh in this gosh. world, and I yeah. mean, it's uh, pretty cool. Well, we should get going. Let's go. Who's mania, baby? We made it to camp. I already have most of our stuff set out. It's time to get the bows going. Wow, that's a mess of stuff in there, isn't it? My headlamp. Got brand new batteries in it. It's ready to go. Throw that right in my pack. Close. My spider. There we go. Look at that. And I can stick my quiver on it. And in the middle of the night, hopefully I don't get a spider bite. <gasps> get it? Spider bite, fall off, hit me in the head. Just kidding. Yes. Have you got something I can start? Uh, yes. That. I got the butcher knife here that I was using. This is the fish crisp batter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want these on your potatoes, Tyler? Yes, sir. Alrighty. First night in camp up at McMillan River Adventures. Once again, moose mania. We shot our bows, got our backpacks, everything settled in. It's a little bit after nine o'clock right now. We get up early in the morning and have our first day out on the water. I love this hunt. Well, it's the first day of moose camp. And it's a, it's a calm morning. It's sort of warm though. Unfortunately, it's a little bit warm. Nikki's almost ready. We're gonna head into the kitchen tent and see what's going on. And there he is. Hey. What's oh. up? Not the sun. <laughs> Not a good calling morning, so we're 
we're just gonna go out and do some scouting and maybe spot one. It's the first morning out at McMillan River Adventures. We just went across the big lake and into this drainage from another lake. Don's got the little trolling motor on here so we can just quietly go up this drainage. Definitely it looks moosey. Now we gotta do spot one. There's birds out there are loons. Usually when you go to northern areas in the United States, you get some loons and we don't ever see more than two at a time, usually. There's 15 of them out there right now. If you want to have a question show why we do what we do, right there is part of it. Maybe you can witness this. I mean, that's a lot of loons in one little group, herd, flock. I don't even know what they would be called because we never see that many. going across the lake here and all of a sudden Don thinks he sees something and so we come over this way and there's a bull in the lake. I don't know what he was doing. He couldn't really tell me. He's going to swim across. This is probably one of the widest places to swim across, but he got nervous. He went back in. We've spotted two cows here in this little green meadow almost of, of the grass that they like to eat there on the side of the lake. We're just going to go around the corner here and we're going to um, just maybe do a few calls and sit for a little bit and see if there's not a bull hanging around. Well, they might be coming closer to us. They're seeing the decoy here. And I think they're coming to us. They're coming right over here. There's obviously no bull hanging out here. He'd be out here by now. I just want to get in the boat and drift back quietly so we don't spook okay. out of here at all. They're not at all nervous, obviously, so. No, they There'll think. There'll be a bull show up here with them. Yep. They've been here all summer, probably. All right, let's get out of here. Who's painting out, baby? You can see where they've been walking. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. We just, we're just coasting out of this little bay here, and all of a sudden, we just saw black movement dots, like, small young black bear just walked by. Just swam across a little opening and all the way across. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it was really cool. First morning out on the new lake and I got to see a black bear. Too bad that wouldn't have been a grizzly. Oh, Big yeah. grizzly. Yeah. There would have been a, some excitement in this boat then. Eh? Oh Everything would have went haywire. <laughs> The sun's up, but the conditions are not good out there this morning. They're going to be bedded up, so. And then on top of that, there's a safety factor. I mean, this is a big lake, and then I know with this wind, we go around this corner, there's going to be white caps two feet high, so. We might as well enjoy another coffee. Maybe it'll blow through, and we can take a run at it in an hour or two. Well, you know, it's one of those things, too, because where we're at, it's not like we just drove 
out to a little cabin on the side of a road, on the side of a lake. I mean, they're not going to be able to, if something were to happen, they can't even fly in to get us. Yeah, okay. the way that wind is blowing now, Tyler, you might have to run outside and check those boats and see if the waves are crashing into them or not. I, I bet your boat's filled. Yeah, I can only imagine that it is. The past few days hasn't been very active. Uh, weather's been warm, rainy. We need a change of weather to get these moose going. Maybe the full moon last night. And, uh, looks like the weather systems moved through. Maybe today's the day. Let's go, Vic. He's hiding in the bush now. I know, it's hard to see what he looks like. We're going to circle way around, out of sight. Shore the boat. Get a little bit of height, some easy walking, and drop back down. Keep the wind right and see what he does. She is, he is. You know, we'll go to the boat, we'll check the Lex Bay, and then we'll circle way wide around. Right and see if they're back out. They could be hanging around right here. We just spotted a bull right where we were with a guy on a bull this morning. He was just bedded. Whoa. Whoa. seven of our hunt and we have had everything from rain high winds sun high temperatures everything and we haven't seen many moose we haven't seen much sign it's been too hot there's not even snow really on the mountains yet and we came out this afternoon just kind of taking a chance we we were glassing and we saw him just bedded there took our time kept checking the wind and we got up to him my shot was 20 yards on the he lake was shore. He just riled up, wasn't he? He was riled up. He just went in the water again. Son of a gun. He's going to sink. How do we get him out of there? We got me and Ryan and my dad. Don't and worry, me. Dick. We'll get him. We'll get him. You need to text your dad yeah. right now with your inreach. 
and let him know to bring a big rope and a hook because Vicky just shot a moose and it sank. Well, can't believe what actually happened last night happened. Vicky's moose sunk. Uh, it's deep, we can't find it, tried swimming for it. So we're gathering all the tools and gadgets we got this morning and hopefully we can go find it. We put a great stock on a really nice bull and got a great shot on him, right where you want the arrow to go. And it decided that it wanted to go down into the water. Hopefully it's floating there when we get there, but all we can do now is just hope. The guys, we're trying to figure out everything we can. We're trying to find hooks, we're trying to find whatever we can to see if we can go back and get him out of the water. Well, we've never had a situation like this, so we're trying to be a little inventive here. We've made a treble hook. We're gonna do like hoppy and drag for gators. And instead, except in this case, we're dragging for moose. This is the third year up here. The last two years, I haven't gone home with a bull, which is hunting, and I get that. And this time I actually got, made a great shot on a really nice bull, and he sank to the bottom of the lake. We're hoping we can find him because what a waste, what a waste of a God creature if we can't find him. Don, Ryan, Ty, Vicky, and I have come up with all kinds of gadgets to possibly make this work. I mean, you know, we're just dealing with a situation that just doesn't normally happen. He's right here. Can, can't see that. See his antler? See his antler? Great weather. Okay, got our hook on the Tyler, watch it. Watch wait, it, wait. Watch his it, legs to your right. See it? We got it around two. Around a leg? We got legs. Uh, hold on, hold on. We got him. Oh, thank you, Lord. Well, you guys saw the hunt last night. We did a great stalk. He had a great, I mean, he was raking brush. He was doing everything he needed to. He didn't like yeah, us. It was fantastic. He was mad. And so he's coming at us. I get a 20 yard shot. My arrow, my beam, it went right where I needed it to go. Oh, and then all of a sudden we don't realize that there's a huge Ooh. ledge, like 15 feet off this, oh, not even just, 10 feet off of this drops. shore right here. It just drops. And last night we tried everything. Tyler here got down to skivvies jumped in the ice cold freezing water trying to find him we couldn't find him we had to give up the winds were picking up we had to get off the lake it was getting dark and we are here all i know is thank you mcmillan river adventures thank you big guy upstairs for watching over us and let us find him this morning and tyler thank you buddy you're very welcome it stick it out and good things will happen I'm oh proud my of you. gosh but they sink the fact of the matter is yes Moose, moose sink. can sink. From Moose Mania, you co we come out with a new show called Trolling <laughs> and Jigging for Moose. When I shot him and he went in that water, I just I, when I I'm lost filming, everything. I was like, everything. I just I was like watching him and he just sank, and I'm going, what do we do? How do you we get You know him you're in there? trouble when your guy goes. Luckily, we found him. I was hanging over the bow of that front the guy of the boat. upstairs yep. was watching over and us. And I just saw his paddle under that water, and then. It took us almost three and a half hours to get him from there to the shore. So don't forget, now next week is our second part of the hunt where it's finally, it's my turn. It is finally his turn. And we also put up our spy point cameras on my carcass. So we'll Just have to Just maybe see what some grizzlies or wolves. You if never you know. If you saw Lucky Logo, new archery products. Make her spitfires, okay. thunderheads. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, click zones, on Lucky Logo button, razors, fill out some information, sharp, and someone is going to win some accurate. great stuff from new archery products as well as some of our other manufacturers. Next week, part two, McMillan River. Moose Mania, baby. That's right. Come back, okay? Thanks for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. You I can't. I still can't believe you that can. you sank. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. You, I the mean, meat was really nice and cool. Yeah, it cooled the meat Mids down. It was really good yeah. dinner that night. It was really Back good. Straps, Only your moose would sink down to the bottom, though. Only That's your. True.